Hi there, and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Uh, this is just a video which is kind of in response to some people inquiring about the wooden fences that I made around the construction site slash kind of semi-demolished basement building and uh, just taking a closer look at those now it's basically a kind of like a wooden panel or paling fence uh, it has some straps or struts across the back and it's basically a design or, or it's a scratch built fence that I put together based on one that I did much earlier which was just a tiny little wee section between a set of shops and sort of look the part reason well so I thought today we'll take a look at how did I actually make these so it's relatively straightforward uh, I guess probably people may have been inquiring as to how I managed to Get the palings reasonably evenly spaced and also of course level and how that was sort of all put together because I guess in first appearances it does look kind of rather fiddly uh, but there is actually quite a reasonably quick and easy technique to this so first of all we'll have a look at the materials that I used so essentially uh, what I use for the palings is uh, it's like a very very thin wood veneer uh, now I bought this not from a model shop but from an from a um, art supply store and according to the sticker which is fortunately still on here it's called base wood ply and it's 0.6 mil so it is quite a thin veneer now this is for the palings now even though uh, 0.6 mil seems quite thin in scale terms it still makes for quite a thick paling um, it would be around about 40 to 50 millimeters thick which of course is not really uh, accurate to the real life uh, wood paling fence but I think for the purposes of this it looks reasonably okay so that's what we use there and it's sort of got a wood grain finish to it which is quite intricate and detailed to a degree which means that you could simply stain it or give it a wash to uh, get a color and well weathered texture that you like so that's that material now for the straps across the back of the fence or the railings uh, I'm just using one millimeter balsa wood now I probably could use this material again I just kind of feel like because this is slightly higher this needs to have a little bit more depth to it and of course at one millimeter at the scale 75 millimeters thick uh, railing is uh, you know it's possibly a little bit overkill but um, in the purposes of making this it's quite sort of proportionate uh, between the railing and the paling so they're the uh, materials that I use now in terms of the actual assembly I use a, a template which I've set up on my computer and I guess you could if you don't have a computer or if you don't have any particular uh, sort of design type software you could do uh, the template by hand which wouldn't be too difficult but uh, we'll switch over to it now and I'll show you the template which was used during the construction site fence that I built so going down the computer designed route if you're able to use that option I've essentially set up a template here we've just got a couple of fence sections and this was when I was doing the uh, construction site uh, basement scene and this is done in Illustrator now I have roughly sort of worked out a scale of the fence that I was sort of after based on the 1 in 76 and that fence paling is 2.5 millimeters wide and it's 26 millimeters high so 26 times 76 equals so it's basically roughly two meters high the fence and 2.5 times 76 190 mil wide pay lengths so I just basically set up a, a length and just simple black outline and down here we have a template for trimming out the palings now I've just done this 
to speed up the process. Of course, you can just simply measure out the palings on the wood material and trim them out that way. So that is that process. So we're going to print this out and uh, set it up on the panel. So this is the template now printed out and I've just simply printed that on A4 uh, at one to one so it's not fit to print or anything like that and uh, we've got to, well basically two components so we've got the the uh, fence template which was on the uh, upper section of the page and down below we have a template for actually cutting the palings and just sort of speeds up the process a little bit so we'll get into this now and I'll sort of go through uh, you know method behind this a little bit but uh, I'm sure that I will speed this up as well because you won't want to see me cutting out maybe 50 odd palings so uh, we'll switch over to a different camera and uh, zoom in take a closer look so with the paper template that we have Put together here what I'm just going to do is we're just going to cut this in half initially and we'll set this piece aside which is the actual template for laying up the fence so we'll just put that aside what we're focusing on is this component here which is just essentially the cutting template for the palings so in my method uh, essentially what I do is we'll trim this right down uh, to the actual template lines and I just trim at one end uh, just so that we know where it sort of starts so basically we're sort of ending up with this kind of thing now this could all be um, drawn up with ruler and a pencil it, um, it, I just find it easier to work it up on the computer now uh, what we have here and uh, this is just some your yeah, standard average double-sided tape I think this is about five mil and essentially what I'm going to do is apply the double-sided tape to each edge and we're just going to stick those down right on the edge and one for the other side now they basically don't extend beyond the um, the print on this side now you'll see the light the notches in here the lines are the width of the paling and then of course the gap between these two is the height of the paling so that's uh right, well basically the 26 millimeters or two meter high paling so uh, essentially what we're going to do now is we're actually going to stick this onto our wood veneer right now I'm just going to stick this right down into the edge it doesn't need to be pressed down too heavily it's just to sort of get a, a reasonably secure adhesion to the panel now I'm just going to trim this all out so we don't need to be working away at the whole piece and set that aside and we can trim off the end a little bit don't need to be too accurate about that and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut through the blank area of the paper that's in the middle but don't cut all the way through the timber so you want to keep the veneer intact you just sort of want to lightly cut through the paper that's on the top and not whatever you do don't cut all the way through um, but heavy enough that you want to at least have a score line and essentially you end up with this so you now have well basically two upper and lower uh, guides for trimming cutting the palings and we know that they're um, perfectly aligned up and we know that they're perfectly all the same height so uh, essentially that that's sort of um, the process that I use so we'll uh, I'll trim these all out but uh, of course I'll speed this particular part of the filming up Right, I've, I've cut out just a small amount because uh, what we'll do is we'll put
put this wee small section of fence together and just for demonstration purposes. So uh, we now have these cut out and as you can see we've, we've got a nice sort of even cut and so forth. Of course we've still got the tabs at each end. Uh, what I'm going to do is just cut off one end of the tab uh, and then assemble the fence and then of course when everything's all dry and set then I can trim off the other edge. So we're just going to quickly chop off one end and it's just a case of lining up the knife against the paper. Right, so we've just trimmed off uh, one end and left the little paper tab on at the other end because uh, I kind of think it might be easier just to trim off one lot we can just do in one foul swoop with a ruler. Now, um, essentially the process that we use here is uh, once again using double-sided tape and I use the thin stuff uh, so, or at least you don't want to have too much contact with the fence palings for the double-sided tape. So uh, it doesn't need to be a big, great big fat strip through the middle. And I usually just sort of put a tiny little bit across the top edge. And of course this double-sided tape is not opaque, so it's got a slightly transparent look to it so when I peel off the backing you can still see the template underneath so uh, it, it, I just put it over across the edges of the template so if we just pull this up and you can probably just see there so there's only a little bit of exposed adhesive area on the paling. Now the idea is you don't really want to be st sticking the palings down too heavily. That really this is the double-sided tape is only there to just sort of momentarily hold the, pa the palings in their position. Now with these I think the easiest thing to do sometimes I use a pair of tweezers uh, just to handle it and essentially what we're going to do is just go down each paling and we stick push them into position and essentially this is the process. So now you could, if you wanted to, just simply um, cut the paling strips longer than what's actually needed so that they're poking out each side of this fence. Leave a couple of spares at each end so as a guide uh, on the actual template so I don't uh, actually cover them up and then trim and get a nice trim uh, down each edge afterwards. But I'm doing this method because fences weren't always perfectly aligned top and bottom. Uh, often you might find palings that are a little bit sort of higher than other ones and things like that. So essentially this is what we're sort of ending up with. So uh, we're applying those palings down. They're not you know perfectly lined up because you sort of maybe want to have a little bit of a, um, a rustic more ramshackle appearance to them. So uh, there we have the palings in place and I've deliberately sort of uh, some are not perfectly aligned, so there's a slightly wider gap because it sort of thing adds a little bit more awful authenticity to the fence construction. I've actually left the two either at either end because what I'm going to do is use those as guides to trim the bottoms of the palings uh, once we have the railings attached and dried. So using this uh, balsa wood, which is the one mil balsa wood, we're just going to trim off a very thin strip. Now I'm not actually measuring this, I'm just sort of going on eye to sort of, well, kind of figure out, kind of based on a wooden paling, the railing that we're going to have. You know, Second thoughts, I think it's too thick. I'm actually going to use the veneer timber for the railings as well. 
um, I just think maybe that's a little bit too thick and that might have actually been what I did last time so uh, we will cut a thin strip of this off instead so we'll just uh, check this out yes that uh, that is definitely much better so we're going to go with that we'll chop this in half and for this since it is all well basically timber uh, the best glue to use I think really is the PVA glue so we're going to use that so with the PVA glue we're just going to dab some along this edge and some on that and I've just got a little brush here that I'm just going to even this out because you don't want the glue to be uh, you you kind of really want a thin layer of glue you don't really want big globs of glue because if that seeps down in between the fence palings uh, you might end up finding that your fence get ends up getting stuck to the paper template so we'll just spread that out a bit and then put these on now you've noticed that the uh, railings of course I've made them much longer than they actually need to be but um, of course you can trim the railings afterwards so we're just going to glue these into position and you can see from the template I have the the railing underneath as a guide so that I know where to place it so this is essentially what we end up with and now all we have to do is just wait for that to dry and I might put some weight on it and we'll come back to it once it's dry and trim these pieces out right okay so it should be dry by now or well, here's hoping uh, so we're going to do a little bit of trimming on this and uh, then also separate it from its template so that's how it's looking at the moment and I'm just going to trim off this bottom edge so we'll do that now so there is our fence uh, taken off the template and then of course you can just simply trim the railings uh, to suit so we'll do that and there it is our wooden fence and with the railings on the back and it's really that that easy so uh, there we have it so uh, another interesting aspect to this wee exercise that I've just been doing and recording is I think I might have actually come up with also another quite quick and easy method of actually cutting out the palings. So I've put together a wee jig uh, that we simply can slide strips through and trim off the palings as we go. So we'll have a look at that and actually just see whether that works and this is completely off the cuff because the idea really only actually came to me uh, right now while I've been putting this video together so let's take a look and see if it works right so this is the jig that I've just made up and uh, it's two pieces of MDF we've got the MDF bottom and then we've got a little strip on the top and then I've actually used <laughs> Um, the bit of wood veneer pieces that I'd uh, had uh, the paper template stuck to I've actually used that uh, the offcuts from that uh, to sandwich in between so yeah if we take a closer look at this essentially we've got the veneer pieces sandwiched between two pieces of uh, MDF and I've set this all up so it is square so we've got a perfect right right angle around this end and the idea that I thought of is that you simply 
uh, get your strip of veneer and simply slide it in there while lining it up across this bottom edge and then uh, basically lining it up so the edge is poking out and is flush with uh, that edge there and then simply trimming this off feed it through trim it off and um, I thought that's probably a reasonably quick and easy way particularly if you're doing a lot of wooden paling fences so uh, we'll just see how this goes so I've got that lined up to that edge and basically this um, overlaid piece of MDF here is our guide for the blade feed the next piece through and yeah uh, that works really well so that's probably even a better method than the method that I had with paper template. So it, yeah, just simply a case of cutting out a jig, which is quite simply constructed and just sliding through a piece at a time and trimming it off. So there we go. So I think that concludes uh, this video and uh, hopefully you found this helpful or useful in terms of constructing uh, little wee model wooden fences with wooden palings. So I'll sign off for now. Uh, certainly I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, once again, everyone, please take care and look after yourselves. And I will catch you next time. Bye for now.